Hello, welcome back to the channel. So as part of my solar journey and having the solar panels and battery installation, one of the things that we try to do is save the amount of energy we are actually using. And part of that was buying things like this and like this. So this is a, a Tapo smart plug and this is the box from a uh, Kessa uh, smart strip. Um, and for reasons I'll explain, I'm only showing you the box rather than the actual product uh, later in the video. Oddly enough, both of these are both TP-Link but use different apps, so I'm not sure why as a company they don't bother to make an app that works across their whole range of products, it would make things a lot easier. Anyway, the pretense of this video is about saving energy. So, obviously with energy bills going up, uh, people are looking to save the amount, on the amount of energy they're using to save themselves money. And there are a couple of ways of doing this, one is by uh, just using less en energy by changing your uh, daily habits and one of them is to save on wasting energy and there's been advice in the media for a number of years to turn off devices that not, you're not using because even on standby these devices use energy and therefore cost you money. So I'm just going to do a bit of maths first of all. If you can save, turn off a device that uses one watt and you turn that device off for a whole year. So one watt for a whole day would um, be one times 24, so that would be 24 watt hours you'd save per day. If you divide that by a thousand, it becomes 0 0.024 kilowatt hours per day. And then when you multiply that up by 365 uh, days in a year, you, it comes to 8.76 kilowatt hours per year so it starts becoming a bit more significant when you look at this over long time periods. In terms of cost how much does that watt actually cost you? So if you're on the tariff that I'm on which is around 20p per kilowatt hour it would that one watt or that one device that's using one watt would cost me £1.75 per year. If you're on the government price cap energy rate which is about 34p um, per kilowatt hour at the moment, but ev uh, in April that's predicted to go up by another 20%, so up to 40p per kilowatt hour. So let's say it's at the 34 at the moment, it would cost you £2.98 per year for that device to run just on standby. So the advice is to make sure you turn devices off on standbys, and just to give you an idea, um, this is just for doing a quick Google search saying how much would such and such device on standby use. TVs um, use up to about 5 watts um, while on standby, some are less, some are more. Um, a inkjet printer is 4 watts, a Blu-ray player is 0.5 of a watt, a, a computer monitor is about 1 watt and a microwave is uh, 4 watts and obviously you have other devices that may be plugged in continuously as well, things like uh, games consoles, we've got a projector in the other room. So you can see how many of these devices add up and also if you look around your kitchen, things like coffee machines and whatever um, devices you just naturally have plugged in there. So this can mount up to quite a bit of power being used at any one time. So if I, I did a rough calculation for uh, my house based on the fact that we've got about four TVs, um, that printer, a couple of uh, Blu-ray players, that projector, the microwave, and these are things that we've actually now plugged into uh, smart plugs. And just doing this very cursory glance, there's probably more that we could look at at saving. This comes to 31 uh, watts uh, being generated, uh, that's of power being used. So if we turned all that off for the whole year, obviously that's not realistic, but let's say you did turn it off for a whole year, that would save us in the region of about £55. Um, obviously some devices get left on, so we probably have to take a percentage of uh, that to actually really get a true value of it, probably about 75%. We could, um, like the TV goes on quite often, but the microwave we only use uh, very sparingly, so that goes on and off as we use it. Um, so you can see the sort of money we could save. Obviously, if we were um, using on that higher rate of electricity, the 34p, 
the maximum saving we could make by saving that 31 watts would be about 90 pounds as i say about 75 percent would probably be realistic so you know 70 pounds saving a year that seems quite significant so as i say the easiest thing to do would actually just go along and turn them off at the plug or just unplug them but this is the reason why i've shown you only the box of our strip some plugs are just unrealistic to be able to get to so um, our tv is plugged in behind the tv in a wall and it's actually quite a distance back and it's, you have to be quite a contortionist to get to it easily um, also human nature is for us to be fairly lazy so how many times do you think oh i could turn that off but i'm not going to i'm not going to make that stretch so this is where having timer plugs and smart <coughs> excuse me uh smart plugs uh come into their own um so we use um, the smart plugs to turn devices on and off when we want to use them uh, we've also got them set so these ones connect to our google um, and at night just before we go to bed we always say to the google night night which does a shutdown mechanism which makes sure all our lights are off and all the smart plugs are off so we can uh, our saving power then obviously there is a little bit of a trade-off because these smart plugs actually do use um power themselves to work um, i haven't been able to find exact values online but some people are talking about one watt so in reality out of that 31 watts we could save let's say you can only use uh, save 75 percent which is roughly 24 um uh, watts take off the smart uh, plugs so we got one strip plus four other ones if they're all using one watts that's five so you're getting round to about 20 um, watts saved so at our rate that would be uh, about 35 pounds a year one of these strips costs about 25 pounds the plugs depending on how you bundle them together is um, about ten pounds um but then again you can buy sort of packs of four for about twenty five so it'd probably take about two years to pay those back again depending on your situation that um may be bigger savings but then you might need more plugs so it's a, it's a trade off between what you use um there are other options is so for our microwave we don't actually use a smart plug for that we just have a strip with individual um switches on it um so um, we have a Google in the kitchen, which is always plugged in, and that's in the same strip as the microwave, which then we can turn the switch on and off as needed. So whether one of these actually saves you money or not is really dependent on your own situation, how many you use, how um, you set them up. The last part I want to make of this, as this is actually part of my solar journey, is does this actually make an impact on your solar? And this is the real reason why we use this, is because we've got a battery system, it's a 5 kilowatt hour battery. And that charges up during the day when it's sunny, and then obviously discharges as nice as we use energy through the night uh, when we haven't got uh, solar, solar energy being generated. The thing about this is that um, you want that battery ID to last through the night so you don't import any energy. Um, if we were saving that 31 uh, watts, it doesn't sound a lot, but by the time you multiply that over like a sort of 10 hour of, of dark, it amounts to 300 uh, watt hours um, or 0 0.3 of a kilowatt hour, which is nearly 10% of our battery. So we can save 10% of our battery and on days where it's a bit too dark in the morning or it's misty, that extra sort of hours worth of battery as we our house generally uses about uh, 0.3 of a kilowatt um, just as it, it is with nothing else on that can actually make quite a bit of savings to us so that's where the smart plugs can really come into their own as i say it's far easier it's far cheaper just to be able to turn them on and off with your thumb if you're dedicated enough to do that so hopefully you found that video useful please hit the subscribe button and i'll see you again in another video very soon